Hey, welcome back to a new video. For quite some time, cops, soldiers, and security folks have relied on dogs to find explosives. These bomb-sniffing dogs are pretty awesome at what they do, but there are some downsides to using them. First off, it takes a long time probably months to train both the dog and their human partner. Plus, they need to keep practicing all the time to stay on top of their game. And let's not forget, having a bomb dog can be pretty expensive when you add up the costs of training, food, a place to live, trips to the vet, and the salary for the handler. In this video, we'll explore some other animals that could help out in this important job. Are you new to this channel? I really appreciate you subscribing and hitting the notification bell. Number 9. Elephants. Researchers in South Africa have shown that elephants have an amazing sense of smell that allows them to detect explosives. This discovery began in Angola after a war in 2002, which left many landmines behind. When the elephants returned to these areas, it was noticed that they seemed to avoid the mines. Science Scientists decided to investigate this further. In the initial tests, elephants successfully identified TNT, a common explosive, 73 out of 74 times. They performed even better when scientists introduced other distracting smells like tea and gasoline correctly identifying all 23 TNT samples. So, it's clear that elephants can detect bombs, but there's a challenge. They're enormous animals, much larger than dogs or any other land animals we usually use for this purpose. Taking them to a war zone is just not practical. So, there are two potential solutions. The first option involves using unmanned drones to collect scent samples from the area. These samples could then be analyzed remotely by the elephants, which would give them the information they need without physically being there. The second option is a bit more high-tech. Researchers are working on developing a sensor that mimics an elephant's trunk. This sensor could release air to stir up the area and then suck in air to detect smells. It's a creative way to harness the elephant's incredible sniffing abilities without actually having them on site. Number 8. Pigs. Meet Giva Zin, a researcher from Israel who is exploring whether pigs can help detect landmines. His journey began with a single pig named Chaviza. Giva noticed that pigs seem to have a natural knack for finding landmines, unlike dogs that struggle with detecting buried ones. You see, pigs have a unique talent. They naturally root in the ground for food, making them well-suited for this task. Giva emphasizes that pigs aren't like dogs, and training them takes less time, about half as much. This speed might be because pigs genuinely enjoy searching for mines, it's in their instincts to root around. But Giva wants us to understand that this method isn't foolproof it doesn't work perfectly all the time. It's important to remember that his research is a work in progress, and he's continually discovering new things about pigs. Despite the challenges, Giva remains hopeful about the idea of using pigs for landmine detection in Israel. Number 7. Wasps. There's this tiny little wasp, about a quarter of an inch long, that's become a superhero for scientists. It helps them detect all kinds of really bad stuff like explosives, harmful chemicals, and even cancer. And here's the kicker, it can't even sting us humans. It's like the friendly cousin of those yellow jackets and other wasps that sting when they feel threatened. Instead, this wasp uses its stinger for a totally different purpose, to lay eggs and inside other insects, starting a whole cool chain reaction that scientists are trying to use for our benefit. But what makes this little wasp a rock star is its super duper sense of smell. Over in Georgia, researchers have built something they call a wasp hound. It's like a gadget that uses five of these wasps to sniff out different chemicals and even sound the alarm. The wasp hound even has a tiny camera that's hooked up to a computer to watch how the wasps move around. It's like a high-tech team up with these tiny, odor-sensing heroes. Number 6. Grasshoppers. While humans rely on their noses to detect smells, grasshoppers have a unique way of doing it. They use special nerve cells in their antennae to sense odors in the air. Each antenna can have up to 50,000 of these nerve cells, and when they pick up a smell, they send an electrical message to a part of the grasshopper's brain called the antennal lobe. Scientists came up with a clever idea to study this. They designed tiny backpacks for the grasshoppers, and inside these backpacks were sensors that could wirelessly send information from the electrodes in the grasshopper's brains to a computer. By analyzing the electrical signals from the brain electrodes, the researchers could figure out when a grasshopper was detecting explosives like TNT or DNT or just other things they used as controls in their experiment. By looking at the brain activity of a single cyborg grasshopper, the scientists could roughly figure out where there were higher concentrations of explosives with about 60% accuracy. But when they combined the brain data from a group of seven grasshoppers, their accuracy shot up to 80%. Though it has a clear limitation, 
after the scientists put electrodes in the grasshopper's brains, they could only use the insects for detecting explosives for about seven hours before the grasshoppers got tired and didn't make it. Number 5. Honeybees. Scientists who study insects have known for a while that honeybees can be taught to recognize different smells, even those of dangerous explosives. They use a method called classical conditioning training to teach bees to connect a certain smell with food, which makes the bees automatically stick out their tongues. In this case, researchers are teaching honeybees to react by sticking their tongues out when they smell explosives. Once these bees are trained, they're put into a special container that includes a digital camera connected to software that recognizes images. When a small amount of air with the smell of explosives is placed in the container, the camera and software can detect if the bee extends its proboscis, that's like its straw-like tongue. After the training session, the honeybees are safely returned to their hive, and no harm comes to them during the process. Number 4. Jackals. In Russia, there's a little critter that might look like a dog but is actually a mix of a jackal and a dog. These unique animals were created by crossing North Caucasian jackals with ancient Arctic reindeer herding lycus. Now, Russian scientists are using them to test a cool new way of finding explosives and dangerous stuff at Sheremetyevo International Airport. The reason these jackal-dog hybrids are so special is because they have an amazing sense of smell. They can detect certain explosives that machines can't pick up. Pretty impressive, right? This idea of mixing a dog and a jackal was actually thought up by a Soviet biologist named Klim Sulamov back in the late 1980s. That's why some folks call these hybrids Sulamov dogs after the person who bred them. These dogs have the best of both worlds, they've got the toughness of Arctic reindeer herding dogs, which can handle insanely cold temperatures down to minus 70 degrees Celsius, and the heat-loving qualities of jackals, which are fine with temperatures up to plus 40 degrees Celsius. It's like having a super sniffing, all-weather detective on four legs. Number 3. Sea Lions Sea lions have really sharp eyes, so they can easily spot things that seem out of place. These cool creatures are like the ultimate water and land combo experts. They're super smart too, and trainers can teach them to do some pretty amazing stuff. That's why the US Navy teams up with them to track down important stuff. Trainers team up with sea lions to find and tag important stuff with special clamps. Then they use those clamps to bring those tricky items back safely. In a demo in San Francisco, a Navy sea lion, not a Navy SEAL person, found a fake mine in under a minute under a pier near AT&T Park. They let the sea lion go near the dock, and after a few dives, it spotted the mine. The sea lion then swam back to the boat and tapped a round disc with its nose to show they'd found the mine. The crew gave the sea lion a marker on a string, which the sea lion attached to the mine. Sea lions are like superhero detectives when it comes to explosives. They can see really well in almost total darkness, and their vision is five times better than ours. Plus, they have amazing hearing so they can find divers and moving stuff just by listening to the sounds they make. Number 2. Dolphins. Bottlenose dolphins are like the secret agents of the underwater world when it comes to finding dangerous stuff like hidden bombs or intruders. These dolphins have some seriously high-tech sonar abilities, which help them create detailed sound-based maps of their surroundings. Even when it's super dark down there, their biosonar skills let them spot objects from more than 50 feet away. Just like those smart sea lions, dolphins are in high demand because they're incredibly clever. They get trained to locate mines using a technique called echolocation. Here's how it works. A dolphin sends out a signal, and when it bounces back, echoes, the dolphin can tell what's around and where it is. Dolphin's biosonar is even more accurate than any fancy sonar machine made by humans. They're also trained to catch anyone trying to sneakily put things underwater. Number 1. Rats. Tiny rats, sporting little harnesses, darting around with their snouts close to the ground, their whiskers going wild as they work hard to smell out explosives hidden beneath the earth. Every now and then, one of these rats takes a pause, scratches at the ground, and signals signals that they've hit the jackpot, they've found an explosive. In return for their incredible nose work, their handler rewards them with a tasty treat, often a banana, and they happily munch away before getting back to their important mission. But here's the twist, these aren't your regular rats. These are African giant pouched rats, sometimes called Gambian pouched rats. They can grow up to a whopping one meter in length. Even though their eyesight isn't great, their sense of smell is off the charts. They can sniff out even the tiniest amounts of TNT as little as 29 grams. And when it comes to searching for hidden explosives, they make metal detectors look slow. These rats can cover an area as big as a tennis court in less than 30 minutes, while it could take a human with a metal detector up to four whole days. One of these remarkable rats, named Magawa, who sadly passed away after retiring at the age of eight, was a true hero. During his career in Cambodia, he found dozens of landmines, 
potentially saving many lives. Magawa retired as the most successful explosive sniffing rat ever trained by the organization. In 2020, he even received one of the highest animal honors in Britain for his extraordinary service. That wraps up the roster of animals that have undergone training to take on the role of dogs in detecting bombs and explosives. It's worth emphasizing that while these animals can excel in bomb detection, they come with their unique restrictions and are best suited for particular scenarios. Let me know in the comment, what's your favorite animal on the list? Thanks for watching, see you in the next video.